Hello, Harry. Right. Um, first of all, if I could ask you, um, when you were unemployed, how useful were career services to yourself? For me, um, I found it not actually that very useful. I mean, they were most of the sort of um, support I got was obviously through the job centre. Um, they weren't very useful in terms of coming to you, sort of asking you how you were getting on. Uh, it was more sort of just come in week in, week out, didn't really check up on you. Uh, they sort of try to put you on courses that will help. There are some that are very useful. Um, a lot for me were actually more just time consuming. They didn't actually show you any sort of skills in terms of looking for jobs. They would um, go through CVs, which obviously is great, but uh, when I found coming to actually looking for jobs, uh, my CV was often <laughs> slated by employers, to really put it bluntly. So when you, you're saying about some of the, the courses that they sent you on weren't really suitable for yourself, do you think that their courses are sort of targeted quite generally at people looking for employment rather than looking at the individual person that they're dealing with? Um, they did get an understanding of that person. They did ask you, obviously, what you were interested in, where you were going, sort of thing. But in terms of helping you push for that role, I didn't, I didn't feel they were very sort of engaged with you. Uh, I thought it was more of more sort of, they were there just doing their job, sort of just getting through it, not really helping you out. So when it actually came to looking for jobs, you were still in that situation of just being on your own, I felt. I felt more on my own. Right. Um, do, you, do you feel that um, job centre and, and career services are more interested in just getting you into any job than the job that you're looking for? Definitely. I feel when they sort of sit you down and they go, so what's your short-term, mid-term, long-term goals, you know? They would obviously ask you what you're interested in and that would straight go down as your long-term goal. I mean, yes, getting that job in the first, just any job in the first place is going to be so beneficial for you, but is that job that they are actually going to give you in terms of the skills you're going to get? Is it actually something that's going to help you develop towards that long-term goal of where you're wanting to go? I feel they were more just pushing to just sort of lower, sort of, well, just get you out of there in terms of sort of just getting you into any sort of role, not really guiding you in a certain direction, just pushing you to just get anything, really. Do you feel they could do more for guiding people in terms of this is a job that will help you achieve your long-term goal. Yeah, yeah, I, I do feel I do feel that would be a lot better. I mean, for young people, I mean, coming out, whether it's year 16, just leaving school, or whether it is higher education, I mean, I feel that you're all still in the same situation in terms of you've not really, you still come out, yes, if you've got a degree, you've come out with that, Degree, but at the end of the day, it's just a piece of paper with your name on it. I mean, in terms of sort of work, you've not actually got any working skills in terms of experience. And I feel job centres and uh, support sort of um, courses need to really sort of to help young people. I would say it's, it's a hard one. <laughs> it's all right. It's hard to sort of determine what they would really need to do. I mean, it's, it, is it more of sort of a, a drive for pushing employers to just employ more young people? Is there some more um, schemes that need to go out, really, to uh, where it should be just targeted to certain age groups, really? Because um, at the end of the day, yes, they want that experience, they want those, employers will look for those people that have already had that past experience, but if you are young, coming out of unemployment, I mean, coming out of school, sorry, and going into unemployment, um, 
you don't have those skills. So how, how are you meant to gain them? Um, is it a matter of sort of pushing people for more work experience? But then at the same time, with work experience comes that you're putting in all those hours and you're not really coming out of any money from it. So it's, it's hard, really. I mean, it is hard for them. So I would... Yeah, definitely. Um, and finally, what would you, when you were in, when you were unemployed, what were some of the things that you did yourself to get yourself back into employment? Um, as I said, I did take on a lot of voluntary work, um, mainly because that did give me experience, um, sort of within a workplace, and it is, it is. It was hard because you are not earning from it, but at the same time, it needs to be done. It's, that's what it's like these days now. You need to just grit it out, really. I mean, um, volunteer work, apprenticeships, they're, they're often looked upon as a last resort. I mean, I definitely looked at that as one of the last resorts, but in the end, if you really want a job and you want to get to your long-term goal, these are the areas that need to be, for me, focused on and really pushed towards because, and you need to really change that image of how, peop how young people look at them sort of things because that is really how they're going to get that experience in the end.